So uh, Steve gives me way too much credit um, on this flip. I, I uh, didn't contact him that often, but when I did contact him, he gave me great support, as well as uh, the videos and the uh, seminars that I attended pretty much every week. A lot of the members that I talked to gave me a lot of support. And I'll also point out Steve and Vicki Englehart right here in the front. Uh, a lot of you maybe have, have seen their presentation. They've got a, a flipping business going, or not a flipping business, but they got a bunch of rental houses. So they actually kind of brought me into this and got me into this. And then I got to thank my wife because she's been on this crazy journey with me. So, so here's the deal. Uh, it's the Kingwood Project. Uh, market comps in the area were 350. We originally got it under contract for 160. Property details are here on, on the front here. Uh, built in 1977, uh, 2,600 square foot, four bed, two bath, two half, two car, 30,000 gallon pool, 10 foot deep, great location. It's on a cul-de-sac street, desirable neighborhood in Kingwood next to walking trails. And the key for me, it, was, it had never flooded. It was fantastic. Um, during my option period, uh, I had an inspector come out. I had three general contractors come out. So Bangit Services, uh, Sar Saravia Home Remodeling and Fast Track Remodeling, two GCs for the pool, and then uh, Tommy's Tree Service and Villegas Landscaping. Um, during this period, uh, with the inspection as well as with my GCs, uh, we uncovered a lot of um, things that you know, I wouldn't have been able to see with my real estate agent. Um, and so uh, during that process, we went back to the, um, the seller and we renegotiated from the 160 down to the 130. Uh, first thing I did was, uh, and you'll see from the pictures, uh, tree removal was ASAP. There was a huge pine tree that was right butted up next to the house and I could just see something happening with that if I put on a new roof. Uh, and, and, and now I've got to pay twice, right? So we had trees taken out. Uh, the house rehab started mid-December. Uh, pool rehab was in January, and then we had it on the market March 11th. That was a 12-week turnaround. So welcome to the Kingwood Project. Uh, first thing I saw when I saw it was uh, the sidings popping off, and then you can hardly see the house, right? It definitely looks dated. So some more pictures uh, right here to the right. You'll see the entryway. Again, the big tree there, and then here to the left, you can see this. Uh, maybe it's hard to see. This is built up, lots of sand in the yard. Uh, you see the fascia boards, just, and that's vinyl, vinyl siding, right? And so that's that, that's something that was popping off, and, and we'd have to replace. There's the tree the day that they were coming to uh, take it out, and that shows you exactly how close it was to the house and why I was kind of paranoid about it. Not only of it falling off, but you know, critters running up the tree and then getting in my attic or my house. So. This is the side of the house. Uh, extensive water damage down this side. You can see the vinyl popping off. Uh, this is the family room, so uh, brick everywhere to the, the left and right of that fireplace, big mantle. Uh, and then when you first walk into the house, uh, you, this is what you walk into. You see the fireplace, but that room is enclosed. It's all itself. You can't go anywhere other than there. In order to get to the kitchen to the left of the house, you go to a hallway when you first walk in, and you can go to the right to go into the kitchen. And This will make more sense to you in a second. Here's your kitchen right here. Uh, it's very closed off, right? And what they teach you is that kitchens and baths sell houses, right? So this was a challenge for us trying to figure out what to do with this because it's so closed off. And this is the hallway that I'm talking about right here. So picture your front door right here. And then on the other side of this wall is where the family room is. So you would walk in and you would go into what was, I guess, an office and you would come around into the kitchen into a, a breakfast area. Just more pictures of the kitchen. Everything was dated. Uh, you see the fur downs. Um, you see the wallpaper. Uh, everything was just completely out of date. Uh, most of the stuff wasn't working. Here's the master bedroom. I won't show you all the bedrooms because the bedrooms upstairs were in okay condition. It was mostly just paint and flooring, but the master bedroom had water damage. The house had water damage throughout. Here's the bathroom, the master bathroom. Um, if you look towards the back of this picture, to the left, you'll see a lot of natural light. There were um, French doors that went out to the outside, to the side of the house. This shower right here, was a shower that was actually inset into the ground, so it went down about 18 inches. Here's your pool. Uh, they actually had minnows swimming in it. Um, <laughs> it was nasty, it was nasty. I brought my kids over to see the house and I was paranoid because again, I don't know how deep it is, I don't know what the hell's in there, and I was like, get away from the edge, I don't want you like falling in, so. Um, so as we're draining this thing, right? Because again, I don't know what the hell's in here and I don't know how deep it is. So one of the neighbors behind me, uh, behind this property, told me that, hey, you know what's in there, right? And I'm like, no, what's in there? Well, the guy got pissed off, um, and he took his gazebo and just threw it in the pool. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, there's a gazebo in that pool. I'm like, no, that can't be. Okay. So there's a gazebo in the pool. All right, so um, you can see what I started with. Are you ready for the after?
Now, this is beautiful and fantastic, but I can't take credit for any of this because, you know, I didn't do any of the work, right? I mean, <laughs> all I did was like finance some stuff and tell people to get to work. So, I mean, uh, you can see we took out all the trees, right? So that way you can actually see the front. Um, I was paranoid about the color. Um, my wife was paranoid about the color because we saw so much white on there, we thought it would just be too stark. But once you put the landscaping in, uh, it works out. And then this is what you see when you walk in. So you can see the fireplace, um, and this is the hallway that goes to the master bedroom. To the left is the master bedroom. To the right right there is just a, uh, a hall closet, and then the, the far door is a half bath. Uh, so here's one of the big changes here that you can see. Uh, we actually opened this up. Again, this was an enclosed room. There was nothing in here. So if you wanted to go to the kitchen, you had to go through this and around. So we basically, and you'll see this in a second, we pulled this wall back. So now you have a little entry foyer, and we opened this wall up. And I, I can't take credit for that. That's, that's my contractor that I used, uh, Fast Track, Elijah. Uh, Elijah, he, he came up with that idea. It was fantastic. Um, we modernized everything, new cabinets, uh, new countertops, that's quartz, uh, and then an awesome backsplash. My wife wanted that Chevron backsplash, and she got it. This is the master bedroom now. So, I mean, everything's fresh, up to date, new sheetrock, new paint, new flooring. This is what everybody wigs out about. So we got rid of those French doors and we made a five by seven walk-in shower. So then the backyard, here we go, everything's cleaned up, everything's fresh. And that, the pool's not fill, uh, filled yet there, so it's, it's, it's filling, but everything's out of it. It's, it's awesome. We had it replastered, new electrical, um, coping, tiling, and then all brand new equipment. No gazebo. <laughs> the new owner can put in their own gazebo. So the numbers, purchase price 130, rehab budget 130. I did go over, okay, again. I probably, if I would have talked to Steve, I probably wouldn't have gone over. Um, I had to put on a new roof I didn't anticipate. That siding was uh, another thing that was an issue where they had to rebuild, be, uh, rebuild the siding. Uh, we uh, made some nicer finishes. Um, the pool was more expensive than I thought it was gonna be with all the debris that was in it, as well as the landscaping cost me a little bit more. Utilities, two grand, monthly note, 10,000, so we're at 294. We listed it for 354.9. I won't tell you what we sold it for, but we got 354.9. So we listed it on a Thursday. We had an open house on Sunday. Uh, between that Thursday and that Sunday, we had 12 showings. Um, that Sunday at the open house, we had 20 plus people. Um, sales price is what it is, commission. So I'll net 39,600. Um, we'll take out some of the money that I put into it. So I mean, I won't make as big a profit as I would have if I didn't have these snafus up here in the overage. But again, you know, I can speak to the fact that I've done it. I can speak to the fact that I feel confident in the product. Um, and you know, I created some great relationships and I'm, I'm getting over that anxiety and that fear.